All right, so I'm going to do a 6S backlight filter repair with my JBC NASE-1B nano tweezers and nano pencil station. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, it looks pretty good. The filter looks pretty good, so I'm going to test it with my multimeter to make sure that there is no continuity across that filter. Now, um, first thing I'm going to do is remove the, remove the backlight filter. And uh, I'm using, I think I'm using 0.3 millimeter tips here. And that's the best thing about the JVC. The JVC, you know, the JVC state, look how easy it was to remove that filter right there. I mean, with the hacko, it took me a good minute and a half, and I'm at 40, 50 seconds here. And I, you know, during that time, I also um, used the multimeter. So now, I think I have, yeah, so I have my nano pencil, and I'm just going to clear away all the, all of the black stuff. And I'm using a 0.1 millimeter tip to clear it away. Look how easy it is. I mean, minute and 12 seconds and I am done cleaning it up already. Um, with the hacko, I was at a little over three minutes. So get a little flux and tin the pads. Uh, the best thing about these JVC um, equipment is that the tips heat so well. I mean, it, just look at the bead of solder that's on the tip here. You won't get that with the um, with the Hako. All right, so I'm a little over two minutes now, two minutes fifteen seconds, and uh, it's pretty much. Almost done, pretty much. Get the filter in, heat it up, clean it up, good to go. So, I mean, once the pads are tinned and get a little flux on there, it's it's pretty uh, easy from there on out. So, boom, nice, nice, solid, shiny uh, joint. Wiggle it a little bit, good to go, and uh, just clean it off with some I IPA and a Q-tip. And we are nearing three minutes now, and I am pretty much done. Um.